Hello and welcome to Capacity TV. Today we are joined by Carl Griffner, CEO of Patnet. Welcome, Carl. Nice to be here. How has Patnet adapted its strategy to tap into new opportunities across Asia? Patnet at one time was, was very broad in the terms of the number of customers. It went all the way from consumers to large carriers. We've narrowed the focus. We're focused on enterprise customers and carrier customers, the, the biggest in the world, in terms of needing the capabilities that we can supply. We have a, a, a big subsea network. We're building lots of data centers. Those are, those are capabilities and assets that are best suited for large customers. So we've narrowed our focus, and in doing so, we've seen more opportunities develop, bigger opportunities, bigger customers, and we're very pleased with where we are at this point in time. So is one of those opportunities being cloud computing? We, we don't see ourselves necessarily in the cloud computing business, but as enablers of cloud computing. Uh, when I talk about network as a service and being part of the cloud, um, I view that differently. That's, that's enabling our customers to use, utilize our network assets uh, to for their business as part of a cloud or not part of a cloud depending on how they want to do it but we're enablers of the cloud we we are not going to be software we're not going to provide software we're not going to provide content we're going to be enablers of the cloud so in order to enable the cloud mm. uh, how have you expanded your data center footprint across asia well we've built uh, quite a few data centers already we've built uh, to name on my fingers hong kong uh, sydney uh, we're in the process of building uh, singapore which will be ready in december of this year uh, Chongqing, Tianjin, which is outside of Beijing, and we're looking at a sixth uh, data center in, in Shanghai. Let's probably start building that sometime in late uh, 2014. So the data center footprint has expanded. Uh, we're moving out of lease space into our own built space, and we get obviously better economics, but better control of the situation for our customers so we can provide them with a better level of security and an overall better service experience as well. So is security becoming a, a big issue for you? Security is a big issue for everyone. And, and no one will ever claim, at least I will never claim, that you can be 100% secure. You're protecting customers' data. You're protecting individuals' data. It is a very big issue for us, both from a physical perspective and from a virtual perspective in terms of the software and protecting those assets. In terms of uh, some of the other challenges facing carriers in, in Asia, how are they trying to strengthen their networks to keep up with demand? Yeah, right now I think it's... Um, Fundamentally, it's taking that infrastructure up to the next level. I mean, t uh, four or five years ago, we were talking about 10G waves as being the, the all encompassing. Now people are talking about 100G capabilities. So we're in the process, others are in the process of upgrading those networks to meet those new capabilities. And I guess in four or five uh, years, we'll be talking about the next level of upgrade as far as those networks are, are concerned. It'll all obviously depend on the underlying infrastructure. Certainly right now, there's a massive upgrade that we're undergoing and others in the region as well. Do you think you're setting the pace with upgrades? So? I'd like to say we're ahead. I, you know, Honestly, I don't know the answer of whether we're ahead or not. You know, Having in place the latest and greatest technology uh, is important for our customers, uh, not just because of the bandwidth, but, but because of the software capabilities that it provides as well. So that when we talk about network as a service, it allows us and enables that uh, capability to happen. Finally, what are some of the new opportunities that you foresee from the growth of digital content? Any, any piece of hardware that's wireless has to get to a piece of fiber as quickly as it can because of just the amount of bandwidth that can be sent through the airways, at least as, as of today. So I think that um, you know, as we provide uh, services to our customers, uh, we provide uh, high bandwidth capabilities and new services to them. Uh, I think it allows them to expand what they can do for their end user customers. Speed, latency, customers are very sensitive about their time. They don't want to wait. They want it there as quickly as possible. So I think that's what's expanding some of the opportunities for us. Great. Thank you for your time today, Carl. My pleasure. Thank you.